Sunrise doesn't last all morning. A cloudburst doesn't last all day. But HQ comes at you every night, baby! And why should tonight be any exception? Good evening, ladies and germs, on this Monday, February 25th. Have you all recovered from Oscar's fever? More of an Oscar's sniffles? Well, we can't shake the movie magic here at HQ. In honor of Marvel Studios winning its first golden statues, we're putting the spotlight squarely on them tonight. Marvel Movie Monday, where your knowledge of the Green Goblin could pay off in gobs of green. <laughs> Coming at you. I'm your friendly neighborhood quizzer man. Slick Fury, Quizsilver, Captain Esoterica, Big Buxy Barnes. Scott Grutkowski, live from Asgard, with Nick Swartzen, who won HQ for the first time tonight. HQ Sports just two hours ago. Yes, that Nick Swartzen. Minnesota Vikings fan Nick Swartzen. Rita and Philip, who invited me to their wedding. Congratulations, I can't go. Jessica Sprecher, Amanda Clark, Joseph Halfpenny, happy birthday, and Timmy from the Tude, also sharing a birthday, with Rashida Jones, Sally Jesse Raphael, Jack Handy, and George Harrison. Yes, it's true, I quiz for you. We are in the final week of February and the final week of season two on HQ. You've been answering questions all season long to win cash and points. And tonight, there's a lot on the line. If you can survive Thanos' reign of terror and answer all 12 questions, you'll be splitting our prize of $2,500. Yeah, but that's not all. In addition to the cash, we're throwing 50 million points your way. You better believe it, kids. hoo And we're throwing a 15 times points multiplier on all the questions you answer tonight. Yeah, yeah, points you can win when you answer questions. You win 50 million by answering, you split that, and cash. It's like, you can't ask for anything more. All these points are gonna help you level up, right? You level up to get those free passes. Season three finale is so close. Sunday, March 3rd, let's check in on that jackpot because of course, with those points going up, that jackpot is also going up. And we're now at $116,489. That's enough money to buy a nice high grade edition of Amazing Spider-Man number one, The Chameleon Strikes. Or you could sink all that money into extra lives, get like 30,000 of them, I don't know. It's slightly unreasonable. Maybe just get one for tonight, you know? You can use it once per game, not on the final question. You get a three pack. Use it throughout the week. Yeah, you can use your three pack, maybe one tonight. If you like Marvel, maybe you also like Lord of the Rings. Oh baby, we are going to Mordor Thursday night. One HQD. Well, not one HQD to find them all. One ring, many HQDs could be winning. We're not doing a winner takes all, no. A lot of you could win Thursday, Lord of the Rings, 9 p.m. But we got, we got action tonight. We got hot Marvel action. Whatever happens tonight, kids, you must promise me one thing, that you will stay who you are. Not a perfect quizzer, but a good HQD. With great power comes great response acquisity. I still believe in heroes, and I believe in all of you. As we fly across the Marvel Cinematic Universe, all 550,000 of you, over one half million of you, live in the game right now, HQDs, assemble! For Kumaro, numero uno. In the Marvel Universe, the nation of Wakanda is known for having reserves of what valuable substance? HQ Extra Lives, Mickey Mouse hats, or vibranium? Black Panther may not have won Best Picture, but took home three awards. The first ever for Marvel and first for women of color in costume design and production design categories. Of course you saw it. You got vibranium on the cranium. 483,849. Knew this one. Putting the pedal to the metal. I, I, I'm guessing a lot of you just, just gave us some joke answers there because you have free, free passes. I'm just gonna assume that is what happened because there's no way you got that one wrong. Q2, what is Captain America's real name? Steve Rogers, Gerard Depardieu, or Clark Kent? Oh, still pretty easy when you consider the nags here. After giving the super soldier serum, this Brooklyn boy goes from punk to hunk, from small to big and tall, from limp to pimp, from Steve Rogers. To Captain America says 477,200. I'm saying you got this right. Not Steve Rogers, the Montreal Expos All Star. 8,649. Gerard Depard, don't. Avengers, assemble with me at Q3. In Infinity War, on what hand does Thanos wear the Infinity Gauntlet? Right, left, or both? 
You could say the Infinity Gauntlet fits the Mad Titan like a glove. Because it is one. Think of it as the most powerful isotoner in the Marvel Universe, one that Thanos wears. On the left, on the left. Oh, all the gloves on the hand to the left. That's right. Look at him there. Getting r raged up, roid raged. I don't know, he's, he's juicing for sure, Thanos. Left is your answer here. 321,224. Getting left, right. The rest of you choosing right, you're wrong. I don't feel so good. Yeah, you're out of the quiz. Hey, speaking of all the single ladies on the left, you know where I'm going with this? Beyonce, baby. Beyonce night happening Wednesday, 9 p. Make yourself some lemonade and join us on Wednesday. The Beehive is coming on Wednesday, but we got the Avengers assembling here. Q4, what do we got? What does Nick Fury specifically want to talk about in the post credit scene of Iron Man? The Iron Man suit, Steve Rogers, or the Avenger Initiative? This moment following 2008's Iron Man stands as one of the most important moments in the MCU to date. It established the tradition of the post credit stinger, and it gave audiences a tease for the next decade of Marvel movies. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger Initiative. With that all important Avenger Initiative. Yeah. At Q4, that is your answer. 351,157. Feeling the sound and the Nick Fury at Q5. Will there be a post credits scene tonight at the end of the quiz? I don't know. Stick around. Q5. Who lives in the Sanctum Sanctorum? Star Lord, Carol Danvers, or Doctor Strange? Not the Rick Sanctorum. This one's supposedly in Greenwich Village, New York, so can't be much of a sanctum with all those NYU kids butt chugging and butt vaping and munching down on Mahmoons, whatever they're doing. But somehow Doctor Strange managed amid all the chaos in that sanctum, sanctorum, 398,085. Doctors are strange when you're a stranger. Stranger danger perhaps coming our way at Q6. Where was the original wasp trapped in Ant-Man and the Wasp? Hala, Quantum Realm, or the Nine Realms? The original Wasp. See, it was her first comic book role since Catwoman 26 years ago, but Michelle Pfeiffer did not miss a beat as Hank's mom and Hope's wife, who sacrificed herself, stopping a missile attack by shrinking into the Quantum Realm. Quantum Realm. She got so small. 391,832. Got this one right taking a quantum leap to Q7. I thought no one could return from the quantum realm. Well, I was wrong. Q7, which Guardians character does not disappear in the final scenes of Avengers Infinity War? Groot, Drax, or Rocket? <laughs> oh, cue the waterworks. Remembering these scenes, Thanos snaps his fingers in that left hand, and poof, half the Earth's population disintegrates, including the dearly beloved Groot. Drax goes too. Yeah. Thankfully, Rocket is still with us. Rocket Raccoon checked into his room. 264,950 checking in with Rocket. Only to find question eight. Oh, so sad, Groot. Q8, in which MCU film does Hulk first say, Hulk smash the Avengers, the Incredible Hulk, or Thor Ragnarok? Ah. Oh, on a Ragnarok all night. Is there a BuzzFeed quiz, which Hulk are you? Mark Ruffalo, Ed Norton, Eric Bana, Lou Ferrigno? Norton and Marvel may not have ended on best terms. You can't take away the fact that he got to be the first to say Hulk smash in 2008. Hulk smash! Mmm. Ed Norton as the Incredible Hulk in The Incredible Hulk. And incredibly, 126,824 got this for right. 177,000, you got smashed out of this quiz, but we're smashing Q9. Which of these films is set the earliest in the MCU timeline? Doctor Strange, Ant-Man, or Guardians of the Galaxy? I'll admit these timelines are a lot to keep track of, but it's Q9, folks. This is where we really start to separate the fan men from the fanboys and fan women from the fangirls. Strange was set in 2016, Ant-Man in 2015. However, the Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one, that takes place in 2014. 97,470 
Got that one right. We're under 100,000 in there left in this game, unless those levels are keeping you in. Although, level nine. Is anybody at level nine yet? You got to be pretty good to get to level nine. Maybe an, have an extra life for Q10. Here it is. Which of these villains is wearing a jean jacket in his introduction scene? Killmonger, Justin Hammer, or Ego? The Living Planet. Nothing's more threatening than denim. I'm scared of Jay Leno. This dude's one of the best, most memorable villains in the whole universe, played to perfection by Michael B. Jordan. Oh, you know who it is now. How can I help you? I'm just checking out these artifacts. They tell me you're the expert. Shorty had apple bottom <laughs> jeans, denim with the fur, with the fur. 73,385 got Killmonger right. Michael B. Jordan, you be getting Q11, a video question. What does Tony Stark say after this moment? I am the Mandarin. That's right, your video daily double at Q11. Is it took you long enough? I got nothing or a nice one. What does Tony Stark say after that moment? That's why you gotta play with the volume up, people. Pepper Potts, she speaks softly but carries a big stick. And at the end of Iron Man 3, she really earns her Stark salary, saving her boss's life and rendering Tony speechless for once. Take a look. I got nothing. He's got nothing. Nothing. But what do you have at Q11? 41,499. Oh, you got it right at Q11. You really know your Marvel movies. Very impressed. You got that right. You are close to getting everything. The points. Some of the cash at Q12. It all boils down to this for the 41,499 in this game. $2,500. Will we have our first savage question here on the final question? Or will you all be walking home with a couple pennies? Hey, it's still something. Those points, it's probably more important to you now. Q12. According to the post credit scene in the most recent live action Spider-Man, what is a valuable quality? Strength, patience, or growth? The Ringer ranked this as the second best post credit scene behind the Afor asked about Nick Fury. Captain America pops up at the end of Homecoming, dispensing valuable advice to the youth and an expert troll for the audience, basically telling them they waited patiently for nothing. Hi, I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have, patience. Patience, and you waited all night to answer Q12, 36,108. Well, you're our big winners tonight, baby. Marvel Movie Night, woo! I'm dancing, I'm dancing. I always dance, but you don't get to see me dance, but I'm dancing now. And you get to see this. It's the post credit sequence, baby. 36,108, you basically broke the game. That's, that's cause, cause there's so many of you. You, there's so many of you. Yeah, I'll be honest, guys, I would have won this one, too, if I had played, all right? Yeah, 36,108. Patience is a virtue. Winning is the ultimate virtue here in HQ, and you did it. We're probably not gonna figure out how much you won, but I'm gonna tell you right now, i do a quick calculation here. Let's see, 36, don't put the camera back on me yet. 36,000, winning 2,500. Uh, I did it the wrong way. Let's see, 25, 36. Hmm, I'm gonna guess, yeah, you're all winning about uh, six cents. Am I right? Six or seven cents? Something like that? I just did that at the top of my head. Well, you got the points, too. Think about that. Those points are gonna help you on our season finale game over $100,000. It's gonna help you maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday for Beyonce. Wednesday, Beyonce, maybe Thursday, Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beyonce Wednesday. Ooh, uh, all my single H cuties, all my single H cuties. Assemble, get in formation for Wednesday. Lord of the Rings, you saw the, we're not gonna play. Oh, there it is, fine. Throw it, throw it again. Throw him the promo again. Let's see, it's a beautiful promo. Love that, love that. The Eye of Sauron there. And uh, stick around for tonight. You don't have to go anywhere. We're just happening at 9.30.
right now, baby. Tonight at 9.30, about 12 minutes from now, Anna Roisman coming at you. Tomorrow, 3 p.m., we got more trivia. Tomorrow, 9 p.m., Sharon's doing the 3, I'm doing the 9. Same app, same app time, same place. I'll see you all again. Until I do, I shall remain leaving you with a deep thought today, boy. Jack Handy turning 70 today. You know what's probably a good thing to have on your porch in the summertime to keep mosquitoes away from you and your guests? Just a big bag full of blood. Good night.